Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make the most luxurious skin loving lotion bars. These lotion bars are super convenient to take with you on the go. They will leave you with moisturized and glowing skin, but best of all, they're super easy to make. Want to see how I make these lotion bars? Well, keep watching. So guys, just as an FYI, the natural butters that I'm going to be talking about can be found over on my website at beautyrove.com. I will drop a link in the description box below. Also over on the website, you can find other DIY skincare and hair care ingredients as well as recipes. So if you've been rocking with me here on this channel for a while, thanks for subscribing. If you're new, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. Video. So to make these lotion bars, you're going to need a few things. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is a silicone mold. So you can use a silicone mold like this that has a design, or if you have one that is plain like this, you can also use a silicone mold that does not have a design in it. But for this video, I'm going to be using this one. You will also need a heat resistant glass or you can use a double boiler in order to melt your ingredients down. You will also need a scale to measure out your ingredients as well as some utensils in order to mix and stir your ingredients together. So let's hop right into the ingredients. And the first ingredient that I'm going to be measuring out is shea butter. So let's go ahead and take our bowl place it on the scale. We're going to tear the scale and I need 41 grams of shea butter. And now that I have my 41 grams of shea butter, let's move on to the next ingredient, which is cocum butter. So I'm going to be using 41 grams of cocum butter. And now that I have my 41 grams of cocum butter, let's move on to the next ingredient, which is going to be babasu oil. So let's go ahead and measure out some babasu oil. And for babasu oil, I'm going to be using 56 grams. So as you can see, it looks pretty solid, sort of like coconut oil. Okay, so this is our babasu oil. So in addition to my babasu oil, I'm also going to be adding in two additional oils. And the first one is argan oil. I'm adding in 13 grams of argan oil. And I'm adding in 13 grams of avocado oil. Now let's move on to the next ingredient. So this next ingredient is super important because it's going to help us keep our lotion bar in a solid state. And of course, now I'm adding in beeswax. I'm using 82 grams of beeswax.
And now that I have my beeswax, let's go ahead and add in our other ingredients. So let's go ahead and add in our shea butter, followed by our kokum butter, Let's add in our babasu oil. And last but not least, let's add in our argan oil and our avocado oil. And now that we have all of our ingredients, let's go ahead and melt them down. So now that I have my mixture in a liquid form, I'm going to go ahead and add some vitamin E. And then stir that in. And for my vitamin E, that was two grams. And next, I'm going to add in some fragrance oil. And you can add in whatever fragrance oil you choose. I'm adding in about two grams of fragrance oil. And I'm just going to stir this in. And that fragrance oil smells so good. So optionally, if you'd like, you can certainly add in some arrowroot powder or cornstarch if you feel like it's going to be too oily for you, but my skin is very dry, so I'm going to skip the arrowroot powder or the cornstarch for this recipe. And now I can go ahead and add my ingredients to my mold. So now that my mold is filled, I'm just going to let this harden up and you can either leave them sitting out for several hours or if you'd like, you can certainly place them into the refrigerator to let them cool down. So now that my lotion bars have set, I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the mold to see how they came out. So guys, these are my lotion bars, and they came out excellent. 
and they smell delicious. I cannot wait to use these on my skin. So if you're wondering how I store these little lotion bars, well, I use a little tin can like this, especially if I'm going to keep them for myself. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.